What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use Filmora. If you guys don't know what Filmora is, Filmora is pretty much a very easy and basic editing software for beginners who are trying to start editing videos. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So first, when you open up Filmora, you're going to be presented with this window here. You can either choose 16 by 9 ratio or 4 by 3. 16 by 9 is what you're seeing right now on the screen. 4 by 3 aspect ratio is pretty much a square video. Right here, you have create a new movie if you want to start from scratch, or you can open a recent project if you already used Filmora. You're going to be presented like this. So all you got to do is click on import media, and this will allow you to select footage. I'm just going to select all of that, click on load. Just like in Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro and iMovie, it will look like this. You could also add video files or whatever by clicking this little plus icon and we'll bring the same thing. You can also click this button right here as well. So once you have imported your footage, on the left you can have media right here. And this is where you, all of your media, your files will be. If you click on music, this is where you could add royalty free music. And if you guys don't want to get copyright strikes on your channels, you guys could do that as well. Over here we have the text and credits where you can add text and credits to your footages or files or pictures, whatever you're going to be using. Um, Filmora 4. Right here we have the filters and these are really nice filters. They have a lot of filters that you could use and add onto your files and it's really really cool. I will get to that in a little bit. If we go over to the overlays, it's pretty much the same thing but it just overlays an effect onto your footage. Over here on the left you have the elements and the elements is pretty much uh, pictures and stills along with some gifs and gifs that you could use. They're, again, they're kind of like animations you could add and they're really nice. They also update their program depending on the type of season it is. So let's say it's Christmas, so we'll probably add some Christmas stuff on here as well, which is really cool. And the next one is transitions. So they have a lot of transitions that you could choose. If you click on one and you and you push the space bar, this will give you a preview of the actual animation or the transition. This also works for all of the other ones as well. So now we have the split screen and the split screen is where you could actually split videos. Here we're gonna go ahead and add some footage. So I'm gonna add this one here and we're gonna drag that onto there. So we'll just import the video onto the timeline. You could also just select the clip and click this little plus icon and that will add it onto the timeline. You could do that for each single one. This will allow you to position um, where you want to add certain objects, or pictures, or videos, which is really cool. Right here, we have all, you can sort uh, depending on your files. You can sort your files with video, audio, or image, or just everything. Right here is where you can change uh, the way it's organized. You can do name, kind, duration, date created, ascending, and descending. Over here is where you can add uh, files again. Right here is where you can record a screen, which is really nice. Right here is where you can do a voiceover. So if you click on that, it's going to bring up a voiceover window. Here you can record your audio from either your microphone or your built-in uh, Mac or PC, whatever you're using. I also forgot to mention that this also works on a PC and a Mac. Here you can delete footage, so you can do that. Uh, if you click on another footage, uh, this one won't work, but on some they will. You could crop the actual footage, so if you click on crop, it will bring you a crop window. If you drag one of the corners, this will allow you to drag certain um, points here, so you want to move and focus onto this, you can if you want. Um, so just drag that out like that, and if we push play, it will just give you a preview. You can do cropping size 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. You can do it manually, and if you want to reset it, just click reset and click OK. The next one we have is the video inspector, but it's the rotation. So you could rotate your video, you click on this. You could uh, rotate your video to however you want. You could also flip this or flip this vertically if you wish to do so. You could also change the brightness of this. You can make it brighter or darker. You can do the contrast to bring up or lower the contrast. You can do hue. Uh, I don't ever mess with the hue or the saturation. I just keep it how it is. You can enhance. So if you click on this, we'll just this will just remove some noise that it has on either your picture or your video. Speed, this will just allow you to change the speed of the actual footage. So if you want like slow motion or if you want to speed up a clip really fast, this is where you could do that. So you can just click and lower this to um, this. And if you lower it, you will notice that the video gets longer in the timeline because it makes it slower. Or if you speed it up, it's going to be really short. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and reset that. You can also play the video in reverse, which is really cool. If you go over to the audio tab here, you can change the pitch. So if someone's talking or if you're editing a song, you can change the pitch. You can do a fade in. So if you want to fade in a song, an audio, or a voiceover, you can do that as well. You could also fade it out if you wish to do so. You can lower or increase the volume right here. 
I'm just going to reset that and click OK. The next one we have is the power tool and the power tool will allow you to change certain aspects of the video. So you could do a tilt shift effect. So this will allow you to uh, shift or tilt a certain uh, part of a, the video. If you go to mosaic or mosaic, however you want to say this, this will allow you to blur certain aspects. So if you click on apply mosaic to clip, you can do that. And if you click on add, you have to click on add to actually do that. Um, this works best if you're in a still area or position. Um, that way you don't have to keyframe each single one. Uh, so you just, you know, say this is a still video and it's just in the same spot. You can just do this right here and blur someone's face. You can do the percent if you want to lower this or increase it. The more you increase it, the bigger the squares get. So I just normally go like this right here. Face off. I don't know what face off is. So yeah. Also, if you click and drag on the timeline, this will uh, increase or decrease the size. If you want to fit all of this into the window, just press shift Z for the shortcut on their keyboard. Also the total time, it will give you here 41 seconds. And here you could also change wherever you want to, to go onto the video, which is really nice. Uh, you can also take a screenshot. So maybe you want to take a screenshot of this right here that's in the window, you could do so. So you just click and I'll add it on here. Now, if you want to add it wherever the cursor is, just click this little plus icon or just drag that on here and it will add it on here onto the timeline. It will create its own track as well. So these are tracks. So the tracks go to a certain icon. So the footage here will be connected with the media. The text will go along with the text and the credits and so on. You can also play it in full screen if you wish to do so. So now we go over to the music tab and the music is where you can add music uh, royalty free again. So maybe you want to do uh, chemical help. If you push uh, space, this will allow you to preview the whole entire song. This is all of the music they have, but they have it in subcategories for you to look further and to know what you're getting. If we go over to the text, you can add text and credits. The text and credits will allow you to add certain text and effects onto your footage. So let's say you want to drag this over here onto the beginning of the second clip. You can also mute the track. If you double click and go to audio, you can just lower the volume if you want to do that. Or you can just right click and go to detach audio and you can detach the audio and double click and just lower the volume there as well. So that works too. Also, I forgot to mention, if you right click, you can go to the show inspector, which is what we did over here. You can cut it, copy, delete if you want to delete it. You can do split all or if you're in between a clip of the clip, you can now do split. So split while you do split a video in half or whatever you want to do. You can do trim to play ahead. You can do crop, rotate, power tool. These are just pretty much shortcuts to the ones we have here. You can also do copy effects. So if you added effects onto this, you could easily and do it much quicker uh, copy effects onto other video clips without spending much time. So if we push play, we could actually change the text. So all you got to do is go over to the text layer here and just double click on that. And then this will bring up the title inspector. So maybe you don't want Rob Elt and Jeanette. Maybe you want Peter. Shout out to any Peters who are watching this video. Peter and Jane. <laughs> for the sake of this video. And you could also italicize, bold, you can change everything, the size, the font as well, if you want to do so. You could also change um, the styles. You could, they have custom presets you could do. You can also customize it to however you want. Maybe you don't want to fill. Um, you can change the color by clicking this and this will bring up the colors picker there. You could do the parameter, you can lower the opacity, you can add a border, a shadow. Once you're done, just click okay. Now, if you play from the very beginning, It just adds a really cool effect. You can do this for every single clip. You could also add a ending credit if you wish to do so. Filters will allow you to change the entire footage, like the color and just the way it, it looks. So I'm going to just add the particle one because I feel like that one looks really cool. And I'm going to add that right here. So now if we push play. It will add that really cool animation there. The next one we have is overlays. Overlays is probably my favorite. Um, this will really stylize your footage. So maybe you want an old film. You could do that too. Maybe you want an old film with like those little grainy effects. You could do that too. Uh, you could do light leaks pack. You can do a bouquet. 
you can do all of that stuff. If we go over to elements, this is pretty much, again, the pictures and stills. Transitions will allow you to transition smoothly between clips. I'm gonna do a doorway and add it here. So now if we push play. The transition is a little too long, just shrink that like that. And when you shrink it, the faster the transition will be. So the next one we have is split screen. This is probably my favorite feature in Filmora. Let's do this one. If you could click and drag and let's edit in between this clip here. It will bring up the split screen inspector. I'm just going to drag this one here and I'm going to drag this one over here. And you can tell that there's audio. One has audio and one doesn't because of this. So I'm going to mute that track. And now if we push play, you're going to be presented with that. Maybe you don't want it to start there. Maybe here. And this one, I'll just start it like right there. So now if we push play, it's going to start where we selected with this little handle here. Shift Z. So now if we push play in the very, very beginning, I'll just go over here. Again, you could really go advanced into this and just customize it to however you want. This is pretty much a brief overview of everything you could do in Wondershare Filmora. Please feel free to check them out, download a free trial. Link will be in the description so you guys can check them out. And before I leave you guys, when you wanna export, click on export right here, this little big button that says export. That's how you export your video. Uh, so just click on export. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so once you have export, it's gonna bring up the export window. Here you can just name uh, your video. We can do the position. I'm not sure why they have position. I believe that should be like the export output or something. But just click desktop. You can change the format. You can do resolution to 1080p. Change the frame rate. If you click on config, this will allow you to change further features or you know codecs and stuff like that. If you go to devices, this is where you can export certain formats. So you want to export it to an iPhone, an iPad, an Android. You can do that as well. And then when you're ready, just click on create. So. If you guys found this video helpful, again, please leave a rating below. Comment down what you guys want to see next. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.